Welcome to another edition of SSC TV3 News. <clears throat> we are more than news. We also televise programs, events, and archives that are the lifeblood of our community. And we have been doing this for more than 40 years. Today is Friday, February 22nd, 2019. And I'm Jim Lakey, your host, and this is the feature that will be on our show today, the Dumpster Update. We televise this program live at 11 a.m. Tuesdays and Fridays and upload it to YouTube right after the show. If you cannot watch us live, you can watch, us, you can watch the show at your convenience at ssctv3.org. Please share our news, features, and programming on your social media. This will help us grow and enable us to serve you better. We also welcome press releases. Just bring them to the studio or send them to ssctv3 at gmail.com. <clears throat> if you would like to be a sponsor of our news or governmental telecast, come in by the studio and we'll set you up. Your advertisement will run on both the TV news and the TV bulletin board. Our sponsors at this time are Adams Brown Baron and Ball, Joanne's Cafe, Cafe, the St. John National Bank of Kansas, Quivera Insurance Company, Hometown Productions, St. John Lumber and Supply Company, and Golden Belt Telephone, and we thank them for their sponsorship. Now, the weather for this week and a part of next week is going to be extremely interesting, if not great. Well, we start off uh, Saturday with snow, 35 the high temperature and 20 the low. <clears throat> then Sunday is partly cloudy, 40 and 21 the low. Then on Monday, sunny and 47 the high and 42 the low. Then on uh, Tuesday, partly cloudy, 42 and for the high and then 18 for the low. And then we have a really cold day on Wednesday, cloudy, 26 the high, 15 the low. Then on Thursday, partly cloudy, 41 the high, 23 the low. And almost the same thing on Friday, partly cloudy, 43 the high, and 15 the low. Now this is the lunches at the Senior Center for this week. And uh, there is uh, follows on uh, Monday where they're having Mexican Food Day. And there's a whole long list of all the different Mexican things that they're having. On Tuesday, a pork chop with a half of a baked potato and broccoli salad. On Wednesday, chicken and noodles with mashed potatoes. And on Thursday, baked fish lyonnaise. And we don't have the menu for Friday because that's the beginning of next month. Now for birthdays, we have several for the next week. <coughs> On Saturday, happy birthday to Brooke Bergen. On Tuesday, happy birthday to Phil Nusser. On Wednesday, happy birthday to three folks. Happy birthday, Jill Steinmetz. Happy birthday, Everett Nusser. And Quentin Jackson. Then on Thursday, happy birthday to David Harder. <clears throat> In keeping with our policy of covering controversial talk topics accurately and completely with original sources, the following video is an ex excerpt from this week's city council meeting concerning the city dumpster. Since it's 16 minutes in length, we will not be delivering the school and public service announcements today. And now the dumpster. Okay, moving on, old business, trash dumpster. You'd ask me to get some prices on some chain link for around the dumpster. Uh, we called Wally Eldridge and he basically told us that 80 by 80 would be about $14,400.
If we want to take 20 foot off of it, you can knock about 2,000 off of it. Now we did, David did price some panels like was up around the grocery store during a uh, building erection out there. And we could get enough panels to go around it, uh, posts and cement and all, or maybe even not the cement for 6,000 or less for movable type panels. So if we did, you know, want to change the way that we let them in or out, we could just chain two panels together. Um, that'd be you guys' choice, but that would make it a little more versatile uh, to be able to fit around the dumpsters. You know, we can move the dumpsters to a point after he drops them, but uh, we have to just kind of shove them and drag them because there's there's strictly forward and back. So. You know, if you want, if if that was an option that you wanted to look at, why well, that's about what we come up there. The other thing was with the cameras, we really didn't find anything that's uh, that would capture uh, on movement, except for maybe just a good high quality game camera or something. You know, if we did have trash in there that didn't belong, we just didn't really see anything that really fit the needs of I think what we're really looking for. So, um, yeah, it's like. And you said the city of Stafford has it like in their yard. What's the problem with us putting it by the fire station? Because if we know we, if we have guys there, or traffic. nothing except we park there, you know. But we'd have to have, we'd have to leave room so they could get up yeah. there. Now there's parks. There's if you've been by there, it's north of the power mm -hmm. plant. Inside, of course, all their yard is fenced in. But uh, no, I don't have a problem doing it that way. I mean, I mean that's, if you think we can make it work, I mean, whether it's on this side the or... The problem would be it'd be trying to get them dropped and picked up, I think, without busting the curb, trying to take them on and off. That'd be my only worry. You know, other than that, no, I don't have a problem with it at all. I mean, we usually we can keep an eye on it down there, but it's the weekends that's the problem. I mean, people will bring stuff in there like you cannot imagine. But... I don't know. That's a thing down there. There's like no eyes down there at all. Just the camera is the only thing we've got. And I mean, we do check it. But usually by the time that somebody hauls in a truckload, if there's 10 bags of trash out of there, you ain't going to get them. <laughs> but I mean, I don't know that we can watch it any better up here, but maybe out in the open in the line of sight, people would have a little more of a guilty conscience about what they throw in. I don't know. I don't know. If, it, if it's there, it's not out in the township road. Yeah, exactly. I mean, that'd be my only worry is the way that that guy loads those. You know, I'd be if, if he'd drop it off the edge of the curb, we might bust a curb there, because it'll take up pretty pretty much where the guys park, if that's what you did with it. So, might be up to you to figure out if, wherever you think it could sit. I still, I think I'd still rather like it down there. I mean, I think it's easier to handle and stuff down there, and when and it's. It's kind of protected by the wind this time of year from the building. And when we do, we at least get the trash picked up. We keep a tarp in the dog pen down there so we can tarp it down. So, I mean, if we wanted to, if we wanted to isolate it any more than that, why, well, that's your call. You know, whether you want to fence it and lock it up or, you know, what you want to do. Is that 80 by 80 with gates, big, big gates? For yes, the with two gates on each end. Yeah, 14,000. 399 is what it was. Is there any way you think you and the guys could do that, that fence? We probably could. Um, I'm, I don't know. I don't know a lot about stretch and chain, but we can. I mean, this was just a six-foot fence. Mm -hmm. I, oh, six I think I'd almost rather use the panels if we were going to do that. At least they'd be more flexible. You, can move if you, need you know, I know when we were working out at the grocery store, we could pull one of the posts and get in there where we needed to or pick them up and swing them around. We could also maybe use, utilize the garage and that old well house, some of that, you know, at least during this time of year. Now in the summer, if we have to generate, it wouldn't be a very good place for it, but, but um, I don't know. We could get a whole lot more out of 150 or 60 foot of those panels by utilizing part of the building, I think, and being able to lock, you know, that's your call, whether you want us to lock it up on the weekends you know, or have my guys on call, lock it and unlock it. I mean, they're they're by there every day. So, but I just think versatility-wise, we'd be better off with the panels. I think. Did you get? Did I wasn't listening? Did you get a surprise from those panels or no? 
David David looked them up, and, and we looked them up through Orsland's. Orsland's has them, and they're basically like a big heavy-duty dog pen panel, I think is what they are. But we might go to a rental place in Wichita or somewhere where they rent that fence and see if we can buy them that way. That's one thing we haven't done. I think it's a little better quality fence, probably. So... I think if you make it inaccessible, the trash will just be outside the fence. I'm afraid. We, I'm afraid you're right. <laughs> That's human nature. Yeah, I mean, when we cover either, when we cover it up, people dump it beside there. If it's inaccessible, it's either dumped out in the county road ditches, like Some tires. Day, yeah, tires you're right. Out there. You're exactly you right. Dump, I won't argue with that. It's going to be dumped outside your fence. Right? At least here we have a camera. We can kind of halfway catch it. I kind of know that they're doing. I mean, that. maybe put a little better quality camera out there than what we've got, but at least we can see. I mean, we can usually pick out who it is. So. Doing it at Goodwill. Goodwill's not open. They just throw the stuff out the front door. Yeah. Oh, you can't imagine the stuff we get in there. I mean, you just can't. Everything from feed sacks to trash sacks to... I mean, wouldn't you guys agree that that problem was... It would help the problem to have it down here? Yeah, I just don't want to really look mm -hmm. at it. If the trash yeah. would be going in my yard... Yeah. Then. Well, that's your problem. <laughs> well, that's, that's the thing, you know, at least down there we can kind of control it. I mean, not great, but if we can keep an eye on it, we usually try and get it tarped before the yeah. fact... Because those they won't take it once it's over full, see? We'll mash it a couple of times, and we usually tarp it in the so. yard anymore. But sometimes after we call Pam, it might be three or four or five days before they come get it, too. Hmm. It's just the luck of the draw. So. Well, I think that the uh, pro on moving it over here would be most people wouldn't want to throw something in there with fear of being caught. I don't know whether it's a case or not. <laughs> I don't know whether it would be, you know, but... And, on Friday, know, maybe. On Sunday, no, probably yeah, not. Yeah, just there, but there's still people walking around there, so people see stuff. <laughs> yeah. But I, I'm, I'm with uh, Ryan on this. I'd rather not see it over here. Well, but see, the other thing is, too, we mash it with the backhoe, and it takes quite a bit of room. Right. We swing out to the south of it usually and take the hoe and mash it down, so it takes 40 feet on top of you know. Right. So what if we put it down here, but also had a picket fence or vinyl fence around it? The trash is going to be outside the fence. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. I think we still run Down the here, the there's a lot less wind because of the church and the fire station, though. I mean, hey, I don't know where uh -huh. going. I, I'd about uh -huh. argue that point, I think. That building down there is pretty long, and we protect a good share of it. Most of the time, it's in the middle of the building, you know. Mm -hmm. And at least if it goes, it goes <clears throat> south where we can see it, and nobody else does, and we get it picked up. So. Well, we got to do something. Yeah. I'll do. I'll do whatever you ask. I agree. I just like it. Marshall's been quiet for quite a while. It's an awful lot of money to spend on. Yeah. It. Well, too, you, you can have a lot of guys with a stick out there for fourteen thousand. Yeah. I mean, we take pretty good care of it most of the time. I don't see the. I don't see it's a problem. So we a couple of times we've had to pick up trash, but most of the time we catch it early enough that it, you know, and like I say, we do keep a tarp in the end of the dog pen where we can tarp it down. So I'd say look at trying to find a camera of some sort if you're going to keep the dumpster. Let me out see there if I can get a little fence. better grade of camera. Just going to end up outside the fence, okay. and then ticket the crap out of them if okay. you catch them. I'll do some looking. I'm not sure I can find. Chime in, but we just found a new security system called Arlo. It's wireless. You buy it by the number of cameras you want to buy. Uh -huh. Runs off of off a, a unit, but it only turns on when uh, when it senses motion. It's completely waterproof. There might be something to look at. It's we pick up the vehicles and everything moving there. I mean, you know, I don't know. Where, where do you check to, for cameras at? We got well. I looked. I looked several different places on websites, but our original camera system came through Randy Clark, and so we've got cameras out to dump, and we've got cameras down there, and, and and several other places. But you know, in order to be basically compatible with what we got, there's only a certain amount of things that we can that we can put on it without going to the expense of 
opening up and buying something basically just for that one spot, you know. I mean, it's not hard to run back through there and see in a 24-hour day. If we catch something in there, usually from the time we quit till the next morning, we'll find out who it is. You know, the weekends are the big deal. I mean, that's when you get dumped on and you have no idea. But, but all in all, you know, we keep a pretty good eye on it most of the time. It's the loose stuff on top that gets away. That shouldn't be in there anyway. So. Council thoughts? I'm trying to check the Golden Up telephone too. I don't know if it's anything compatible with what you guys what? have down there. Yeah, I don't know. They sell too. Okay. When you're All saying right. compatible, you're saying to hook it to our system that we with have. With the now system somehow. we have, because it's on my phone, it's on the other guys' phone, because we watch the panel board and stuff, and inside the plan and around the plan. So switch gear and the and the the, uh, the primary stuff out in the sub and that stuff we keep an eye on it. So. Um, yeah, I'll do some check and see what I can find out. Sure, I'm glad to. The council adopted the um, dumpster fee ordinance last time, but the council hasn't really instructed me to do a resolution to establish that fee, that, that fee amount. The ordinance allows you to uh, adopt a resolution setting that fee when you want to. Purpose being so that anytime you want to stop it or increase it. You don't have to pass a new ordinance. Right. Um, is that something the council wants to do? Thoughts? I've heard a dollar, I've heard two dollars. Oh, fee for... Yeah. But a dollar probably wouldn't still cover what we pay to have it dumped every month. How many bills would it be on? Oh, it's depending on how much trash you get. Like last time we, I how think there was... How many bills do we send out? How many bills? About 800. Okay, so 800 bucks a month. And depending on how many times it's dumped. Mm. It's I think the average is around between eight to ten, like thousand dollars So you wouldn't recoup all of it, but you would recoup a good portion. Two dollars on state, and you've covered the cost. I wouldn't go that far. I mean, what I've already got pushback from the no. dollar. No. I don't have a problem with the dollar. Neither do I. But I've heard you know, several people tell me, "Don't care if it's two dollars either." So, you know, I'm gonna pay thirty-six dollars a year and not ever use it. So. <laughs> I've heard a lot of people use it, which I'm fine with. It just, just comes like back to if you want to look at your neighbor's trash in the yard, yard or if you want it to be in the dumpster. Yeah. Yeah. I agree. I sorry. I guess we can always revisit it, you know, if it starts getting dumped more than what it is right now, then we can raise it. Like John said, we can always raise it without passing the But even, even then, we're still, right now, we're still depleting that fund that it's being yeah. pulled out of. But you're not depleting yeah. it near as quick. Yeah. Right. And sometimes we, you know, we don't dump like four times a month sure. either. Right. Like you're making your money back, so now we only have to dump twice, you know, but still. So what do we need to do, Joe? Just so direct me to draft it somehow. Draft it for <laughs> a draft dollar. Draft it somehow, Joe. <laughs> <laughs> I'd do a dollar. A dollar, yeah. Draft it for a dollar. For a dollar. For a dollar. Okay. Does the council want to go ahead and get a dumpster back and then go ahead and do this camera deal in the process, or what do you want me to do here? We need to do something. I'd hate to get more calls in the next two weeks. <laughs> I know there's been a lot of people come by there and see that it's not there and went on, you know. So, I mean, you're saying, like, if you checked into the cameras, like... I'd go ahead I and get, do a, that. I'd go I ahead do get that. a dumpster back and see if we can't try to monitor it and keep looking at camera stuff. I'll try and get you some camera I, stuff. I'm not really looking forward to spending 14000 or even $6,000 for a fence. No. Because I think you're right. People will show up down there, and if they yeah. can't get in, it's just going to be piled by there, yeah. and you're going to pick it up anyway. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's right. But I think maybe some better signs and... John, if you could we did. put a fine on there for yep. for dumping in it? Could we do that? Would yeah. that help? You've got a standard uh, offense fine. I mean, we you know we basically put in English and Spanish both what we don't want in there, but uh, you know there's no Maybe there's no signs. there's no fine. So bigger signs with a fine on it. And you're being watched. Big red letters. Yeah. This under I'm this area's you. under this area's under surveillance signs. I'm watching maybe. you. But get I'd get those signs up on some posts. 
you know, instead of on the ground with the barrels and okay. make it. Okay. Jim's address in case they witness illegal dumping. <laughs> That'd be fun. <laughs> you want to put a, you want to put a fine Thanks. price on there? Yeah, Don't you usually, you said up well, to a thousand dollars, didn't you, John? I mean, that's the way the one at the tree site is. It's up to a thousand dollars, I think. Yeah. Only difference between that dumpster and that tree site is if if the state lady catches it at the tree site, she'll lock the gate. Up to a thousand dollars. Okay. Or okay. imprisonment up to 179 days. Man, I can't get a sign that big. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I can, but yeah. Okay. All right. That we'll take care of it. Please help our channel better serve you with quality and informative programming. We have a lot of good stuff happening in our area, and our goal is to bring these activities to those who cannot attend. If you have items that need to be announced on TV3, we would like to hear from you. Send us your items or video requests to ssctv3 at gmail.com. Give us a little lead time and we will be there. <clears throat> also, since we only have one field reporter, our live news telecasts will be rescheduled from time to time when in conflict with the news or a program event. If you would like to help us out as a field reporter, please come by and visit with David about the job requirements. Since this is a volunteer-run television station, there wouldn't be any pay, but the service to our community would be priceless. Keep us informed, and we will keep you informed. And thank you for watching.